into this video. As you just saw from the fireworks, it's late November and it's quite dark now, so I apologise for the lighting in the video. Uh, today I'm doing a little acrylic portrait, a copy, well an attempt of, one of Chuck Close's self-portraits. I decided to do a piece of his work because he uses the grid method to make absolutely gigantic paintings. They're really realistic and I think they're about at least 10 foot tall each one. They're absolutely massive and although my A3 piece of paper isn't that large, the grid method is still quite useful for enlarging a piece of paper, a piece of, a piece of work from the reference so I thought I'd give it a go since um, we were writing about them in my A-level coursework so I thought I'd do this piece to put in my sketchbook. I started off by just drawing out all of the um, squares. I counted how many there were on the reference photo and just divided my A3 paper up by the same number of squares. So. It's a really simple idea, I just go from the middle mainly, or one of the sides, and count how many squares in and up each main feature was. Um, another way to do this is to start from the top left square, do that square, then move down, and just focus on one square at a time. I thought with a portrait though, um, it might be more useful to start with the key features of the face and then work out. I think that might have been me just being impatient though, um, so maybe for the next one I will try just slowly working top left corner to bottom right and I'm sure that will be quite a satisfying <laughs> reveal. But yeah, I just got my acrylics out for this one and I was originally going to use pencil but as I said I was a little impatient so I just thought I'd get a quicker result from the acrylic. I didn't really use the grid method to its full um, usefulness, so um, I kept forgetting to look at my reference picture. As you can see throughout the video, there's a progressive amount of dots on the reference, um, dots of paint from when I've been counting. But, um, yeah, overall I was quite happy with the finished look. As I said, um, this grid method is quite useful for portraits, um, more so than landscapes or architecture because in a portrait if you get a slight bit wrong, like I got the eye or the side of the face, um, it's a lot more noticeable. And yeah, so you really want to get those proportions right. Um, I did enjoy this painting. Normally I just do everything by eye so it was a little strange counting the squares and I think at one point I must have miscounted because his right glass looks much bigger than the um, glasses on the right but yeah overall I'm quite happy with it and it's certainly something to learn from so I hope you enjoy the rest of this little time lapse and do let me know if you're any more successful with using the grid method and yeah I will see you in the next one thank you very much
Shabbat Shalom.